Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And if you are new to my channel, what is up? Go ahead and subscribe. My name is Bruce J Destiny, and on my channel, I do vlogs, you know, lifestyle content, everything, anything. Just let me know what's tea, and I'll give it to y'all at y'all mother front door. But for my OGs, y'all always be like, why you don't do the it's the black A, hey, it's the bread. Back with another video. It's black A, hey, it's the bread A. Hey. Back with another video. Back with it. I don't know. I just feel like I be so tired of hearing other people's intro be so long. I be like, girl, call it quits. Let it go. Let it go. I can't be doing that if I hate you when I always watch other people do long intros, you know? Like, just introduce yourself and just let me know what's tea. So, if you are new to my channel, um, I don't usually do story times, but I'm trying to start doing, I'm going to try to start doing story time just because I be having my experiences and I really don't be telling nobody what's up. But this is a story time um, about a lash client. I'm sorry for the lawnmower, but somebody out there mowing the lawn, I don't know, and I ain't helping, so. I ain't gonna tell them to stop, so I ain't paying for it. I'm trying to do my edges before I even really start with the video, because I'm gonna start doing my makeup. Okay, so y'all don't mind baby hairs. I'm not a professional. I don't know what I'm doing out here in these streets. I'm just swooping and whooping, to be honest with you. But if you guys are new to my channel and you guys don't know what I do on the side, because you know I do a lot of stuff just because I don't want to just be so suffocated with just doing YouTube and worry about making content every day. I do have a lash business, also a website called It's Only Skin. I sell skincare product. No, I sell lippies. I don't sell skincare products yet, just because I'm not trying to give anybody just anything. So I have a skincare line and then I do lashes um, as well. So this experience is about my lash business. So, I don't even know how to like get into it, but just know I have recordings, I have evidence, I have proof, I have the oil at your front door. So, let's just get straight into this video. Y'all, for one of these days, I think it was maybe like a weekday, maybe not even a weekend, because I wasn't that busy that day. So, I had a client, right? She was my first client of the day, and um, I was already at the shop, if you guys don't know, I work at a busy shop and it's kind of like real deep. Like that shop can get really hectic. It could be a lot of people in there, which is good business for me. But at the same time, like too many people in one space, be it be just be too much, you know? So at that point in time, um, I just had got the suite that I'm in downstairs. I used to be in the suite upstairs, but I stopped being with that suite mate because of other reasons. So I just recently got downstairs and um, I'm comfortable with the people I'm in the room with. Um, at this point in time, I just didn't feel like going inside my, um, going inside the shop immediately. Cause sometimes, you know, you just want to chill with yourself. Like I'm not going to go in the shop early if I already prepped it from the night before. So let's just get straight into the video. First of all, I'm going to say this client was a supporter. Well, not everybody is a supporter for real. So let me just say that. But. She had previous DMs with me. She's been doing promo with me previously, like maybe like months before this appointment, you know? So boom. Um, she had an appointment with me. I told her where she where she's supposed to be at. She kept telling me she's confused, she's confused, she's confused. I had the thinking like she wasn't inside my building. I think she was outside parked and she didn't know where to park at. She just stopped texting after a while. I just assumed like she must be inside. You must be where you're supposed to be at. Cause she just kept, she just stopped texting me. So I was like, okay, cool, whatever. So then as soon as she stopped texting me, I had literally walked inside my suite. My suite is downstairs. Um, I was just sitting in my car waiting for her to let me know she was inside the building or anything. But she just didn't, she just stopped responding. So as soon as I got inside my suite, y'all, I literally went inside. I have a person I share my suite with as well. I went inside and I seen her. She was doing um, some braids. And there was another lady there. I said, hey to girl. I was like, hey. I was thinking she was with the girl that was getting her hair braided because she didn't give off like, she didn't even like explain who she was. Like she just sat, she wouldn't even, she didn't even sit on my lash bed. She didn't give me no attention. Like she was my client. I didn't even know she was my client. So I came inside the room, right? I came in the room, I said hey to everybody, which I, which I always do. I said hey to everybody. She must not be my client. Cause my client was like, I mean, this me girl, or she would've texted me, like the girl went go. She didn't even text me back, she didn't say nothing to me. So I'm like, what the fuck? So I sat on my suite, I sat in my chair while I did my lashes at y'all. 
and I started to pick up my phone. I'm like, I go to go text the client, like, where are you? Because I'm confused. Like, this is a girl sitting here, but I'm just thinking she's just sitting with the braider because she was sitting next to her. It was the braider chair, it's a spare, a spare chair, and then it's my chair, and it's a chair next to me. Like, if my clients are early, they'll sit on a chair next to me. Usually what my clients do. But she's a new client at that. So she just sits there not saying nothing, right? And then the girl I, that do braids inside the suite I'm in. Dad, it's been no problem. The girl that does um, the braids in the suite I'm at, she just, she said, um, you know, Virginia, you know that's your client, right? I was like, oh, for real? She was like, yeah, that's your client. So I was like, girl, why you ain't saying nothing? She's just literally sitting there looking at me on her phone. Like she's not even looking at me, she's just literally on her phone, not giving me no eye contact, make, give me no type of recognition that that's my client. And I was just in there confused. And I say this as well, cause y'all my, where I work at the shop is really busy. So people just be sitting in there. It should be a lot of people there. So I had no idea she was my client. My client went ghost. I thought my client was still looking for me, you know? So I'm like, girl, that's you. She was like, yeah, I'm your client. I'm like, girl, why are you not saying nothing? I said exactly that. Like, girl, why you ain't saying nothing? She was like, I don't know, I was just waiting for you to get ready and stuff. I said, girl, no, I'm ready. So as soon as I said, girl, no, I'm ready, I'm like, girl, lay on this bed, get your lashes done, you know? My suite's already, like, where I'm at, my, my station's at, it's already had my lashes all prepped. All I had to do was just pick it up, put it on you, pick it up, put it on you. Like, I'm not, I don't, I know everything's at, so everything was just together. So as soon as she laid down, y'all, she gets her, I do her lashes, we're talking, and then she tells me, like, oh, girl, I follow you on YouTube, this, that, and the third, and um, we had some, I had did promo for her. She had wanted me to um, shout her page out or something a long time ago. This may be like months ago, maybe like the top of 2021 or the end of 2021. She lets me know that she does lashes. I'm like, okay, cool. Like she's, she's letting me do, she do lashes. So I'm like, okay, cool. I can build a relationship with her. I can talk to her. Like we had something in common besides, you know, just YouTube, which I don't want to just always talk about YouTube just because, you know, when I do lashes, I either want to get to know you. I either want to motivate whatever you do. like. I could talk about YouTube too, but like, I don't want that to be the only the conversation we make, you know? Because I wanna know you, you know? I wanna know you. So if you ever booked an appointment with me, you know like, I don't just sit here and talk about YouTube. I sit here and ask like, what do you wanna do for a living? What do you do? How old are you? Like, you know, I just try to figure you out as a client and as a supporter of mine, cause I see you in person. I like, I wanna know what you about, like what you like to do and stuff like that. You know, that's me personally. So I asked her what she do and stuff like that. She lets me know, you know, I'm trying to make this conversation more than just YouTube. So we start turning around talking about lashes and she lets me know like, oh yeah, I do lashes. I've done Serena Rain's lashes. So then I'm like, oh, okay, that's lit. You know, she was like, oh, well, I'm interested in doing your lashes. Um, we could do a trade for trade. I'm like, okay, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Then she gets a little too comfortable. She starts talking about, you know, someone. I'm like, okay, this is a little different. Like if she's helping your business and now you're saying she's not helping your business. So it was like, she's already getting bad. Like as soon as she starts talking about the person that, you know, she just starts talking about one of her influences that she's doing her lashes. She starts talking about where she lives at, what she do, that she went to the high school with the girl. So it was like, dang, this girl over here chatted it up about this girl business. And you don't know me enough. And you don't know if that's my bestie, like, you know. She just cause was just chopping it up. I'm sitting here, you know, just taking all the information in. Not really thinking nothing of it because I don't know that creator at all. Like, I don't know anything about her. And, you know, I stick to my lane, she stick to her lane, and I just leave it alone. So she still talks about the girl. And I'm like, oh, okay, for real? She was like, yeah, it is, that, 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 you know, just talking. Which I'm thinking nothing of, you my client. Everything's confidential, you know? Everything is confidential. Whatever you're saying, it's not going nowhere unless you're taking my business outside, you know, to the streets. So boom, she gets up. I finished doing her lashes. She looks at the, she was like, oh my gosh, I love my lashes. And she was like, oh my gosh, you don't use easy fans. I'm like, girl, no, I use self-made fans. Like she was talking so bad about, you know, self-made fans. And I'm, if you're a, if you were a lash, t lash tech, I feel like no lash artist should talk about people that do easy fans or that does self-made self, self -made fans because both are hard. Like, I used to do easy fans, but now that I do self-fanning every day, I can't even make an easy fan lash. Like, I can't even open the wing. Like, I can't make it spread. I can't do that no more. Like, I can't use easy fan lashes no more. So, it's just hard for me to go back to easy fan 
now that I'm with self in so she was like I can't believe this is self in it looks so thick it looks so full it looks wispy she just loved it loved it loved it loved it as soon as she got home she tagged me she posted it and she was like girl I love these lashes this and the third and I'm like girl I'm so glad you like them you know and the, and the conversation was good I wanted to make you know work with her like you know we could work on something maybe together maybe you could do my lashes um, I personally don't like um, easy fan lashes on me but this other lash tech I go to she do easy fans as well and I was like you know I'm, op I'm open to it so I was interested in getting you know collabing with her you know making work make it you know make things work two not even two days later maybe like the next day y'all I swear to god the next day two girls DM me and she was like one of y'all lash artists says you're I mean <coughs> two girls no it's really yeah it was two girls one girl what's going on Ooh. two girls DM me they were like you know someone's talking about you they said your work is um no two girls came in my DMs and it was like oh you know one of your lash one of your lash clients says you're unprofessional um she just said you're unprofessional that's all she said so now i'm like i'm thinking nothing of it so i let a day go by i go the next day go by and then it popped no 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 yeah i let two that's what i got y'all i let maybe two or three days go by she texts me again she's like one of your supporters i mean one of your um, followers said you're unprofessional and she's still talking about you i'm like what the hell what you talking about so this day I decided to actually look into it because at first I'm like, you know, they probably just trying to give me some, you know, talk shit to me, like talk bad about me. And I don't want to hear the negative. Like I don't want to hear it because I just don't want to hear it. Like I didn't go to school for professionalism. Like shut the hell up. So I just was kind of blowed about that when I first seen it. And I see y'all DMs like, don't get me wrong. I might not answer to everyone, but I definitely see everyone. I will get to them just not as soon as y'all think I am. But if you know, you know I'll be answering my DMs. So the third day go by, fourth day go by, and I answer her back. She was like, I'm like, who was talking about me? She was like, boom. She sent me a screenshot of the same girl that was um, just telling me like, oh yeah, girl, I love your work. This is a third. I love you. Da, 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 da. I like you. You could see you're easy to talk to. It's a third. She was just making like real calm, cool, kicking it. She was like, I look like I look on social media. Then talking about a whole nother influencer said she don't like she look in person. Just dogging a girl, telling a girl late. This that a third. And then she was telling me like, oh girl, you you look how you look in person. You look like this. Like girl, you you not a catfish. Cause I always ask my <laughs> my supporters like, do I look like a catfish in real life? And they be like, no, girl, you're so pretty. I'm like. Girl, stop lying to me, you know? So, as soon as um, I read it, I already automatically know, like, that's the client I just had. She just was hyping me up. She just was saying she loved my work. And, you know, just, just positive shit she was saying to me. And um, as soon as the girl sent me the screenshot, I'm like, so damn, what the fuck she was saying about me? She was like, girl, she said you're unprofessional. She said you were late. She says you were on the phone. She says, um... You had roaches all throughout the shop. It's dirty in there. Um, she didn't like it. I said, oh. oh. I know you fucking lie. I know you fucking lie. That bitch said I got roaches. That one hurt me the most. Because honestly, y'all, in my suite, I have never seen a roach inside there. But I wouldn't put it past you. It's a big building. Even the y'all favorite restaurant got roaches. But y'all, I think that one right there hurt me the most. And the same that I was late and that I was on my phone. Like, girl, I was not on my phone because I was definitely looking for your ass. Actually, I was texting you to figure out where you was at because I was confused. You sitting there, you not saying nothing. I'm confused. Like, where my client at? Cause my clients will sit on my bed and be like, bitch, I'm ready for my lashes, you know? So yeah, the girl, she's like, yeah, she said you're unprofessional. She said you're this, you're that. I'm like, you're fucking kidding me. So the girl actually sends me a screen recording of everything the girl is saying about me. She's literally dogging me on her close friends. And I'm like, damn, she be talking like that? She was like, yes, yeah, she was talking about you. And she'd be talking about this other YouTuber. And I said, damn, but I can't put it past because with um, the, you know, the relationship we had on the bed when she was talking, 
she was definitely dogging her out to me. So I'm like, you know what, now I can't put it past no one to say they support me and they talk about me um like a dog on other social media sites. If you're talking about me on, if you're talking about this girl and she's helping you make sales and business, why are you talking so bad about her to me? You know? So then I'm like, um, no fucking way. So I go ahead and text the girl because she was like, girl, I can't wait to book with you again. I don't like bad energies. I don't like bad negative attitude. I don't like none of that shit around me. As soon as you show me bad energy, I definitely will fake toodles, bye, deuces. I'm not, I'm not serving you, no. Cause I didn't do this. I'm not doing lashes to make money. This is more of like a fun thing. It's more of a fun, more of a creative, you know, output, cause you know, sometimes I'll just be doing YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. That kind of gets drained after a while. You want to do another type of creative thing, which was lashes for me. And that's more of my fun, how I, you know, interact with other fem females and how I just like, just get in tune with just different things instead of just filming with a camera and talking to myself all fucking day. You know, so I love that just for that type of communication. But if you come in with, to me with bad energy, I will turn you in, away immediately. So, I text him like, hey, um, you was talking bad about me on your close friends. She was like, no, what are you talking about? Like, I would never talk bad on my close friends. I don't know what you mean, where are you getting this from? And then I was like, oh, for real? So I said, I told her everything she said word for word about me on her close friends. She was like, oh, and I said, please never book with, I said, please never book with me again. I don't want your support. And I think I left it at that, boom. So as soon as that happened, y'all, as soon as that happened, she just put this emoji like, okay. Like, girl, you're dead ass wrong. Like, don't sit here and, and this is the fake support. She was, oh yeah, she was also saying like, I don't look how, she was saying, oh, you don't look how you look in person. You look like a catfish. But she's saying this all big and bad on her close friends, you know? Which I don't care if someone say I look like a catfish, cause bitch, I don't. And, I probably do. Shit, I edit the phone out my Instagram pictures. Don't let Instagram fool you. That ain't me. I walk outside with biker shorts every day with a graphic tee. But yeah, she was saying all of this hot shit on um on her close friends. And I told her, I'm like, I showed her right to her front door, like exactly what the fuck you said. And the girls told me like, yeah, she be talking about all these social media influencers. She would literally go see y'all and then talk mad and shit about y'all on her close friends. I'm like, no fucking way. She was like, yeah. I'm like, then I thought about like, if you watch Dierra's video, she talks about how like everybody is not a true supporter, which I thought was like kind of stupid. Like, girl, what you mean? But now that I've seen that for myself in real life in 4K, how people are so not for you and they will play in your face like they're for you. Ugh, you can't even tell people too much. Like, she starts telling me, about other influence, asking me about other influencers. And I was like, I don't know with them. I don't talk to them. Knowing him, well, I probably do talk to them. But I'm never gonna give you the tea on them. I'm not gonna tell you shit about them. And you know, a lot of the times when my supporters do come, I just be, we just be having a good time. That was my first like really weird, bad experience. None of my supporters have ever like ever experienced nothing like that before. But as soon as that happened, y'all, she went back on her close friends. She goes back on her close friends and she starts cursing out everybody in her close friends. She was like, y'all over here going to the back of my close friends, telling them, telling both them girls exactly what I be saying about them. Y'all gonna get on my close friends. No, you need to understand that you're the one in the wrong. You're the one that's wrong. You shouldn't be talking about people and showing fake love to them and just being in their face and then talking shit about them, saying they got um, roaches in their suite in my and something, I forgot what else she said. She was dogging me out, y'all. She dogged me out. I don't even, it's okay though. It's okay though, cause not, that's why I said all money is not good money. Like, it's definitely not. It's okay for everyone not to support. I put so much blush on. It's okay for not everyone to support you and not everyone to really love you because a lot of times this love is fake and you want only genuine people. When I say genuine people, I mean genuine people. And I kind of want to play the sound um, for her talking mess. Just so I can make this video more entertaining. Cause I know like I'm just sitting here doing my makeup and I'm barely doing it fast enough. But 
I don't know, it just goes to show me that all love is not real love. Like, that should be fake as hell. And people don't really like mess with you, bro. They just be trying to be negative to you. And I, I really appreciate, appreciate y'all for like literally coming to my comments and letting me know and you know, giving me my flowers. Cause another supporter had told me, she was like, girl, I love your work. I love what you do. And I really sit here and I don't, don't think that I'm making the impact that I do, but when you guys come see me in person or, is this eyeliner? Oh, this is mascara. When y'all see me in person, y'all literally are like, so like energetic and lively and I just love it. Like, I really do. You might not see my eyeliner on, but I have eyeliner on all the time. It's crazy because the girl that actually sent me the deep, the sent me the close friends um, screen recording, she's a supporter of mine. And my supporters are so like real. Y'all are so real. Y'all so like, y'all show love. Like, I don't even know. Like, I really appreciate what y'all do for me and what y'all say for me and what y'all like, y'all are about me. And I just never seen that for myself in like a friendship and it's crazy to see like strangers, like people that don't know you and, li and like, you know, per face to face. And how much love and support they can give you without having to really like, you know, physically touch you. I'm not gonna lie y'all, every time that y'all recognize me in person and y'all be like, can you take a picture? I literally cry in my car. I go back in the car, cause some, a lot of y'all just be jumping and y'all be like, ah! Or y'all be like, you look real familiar. And I'm like, from where? I ain't no celebrity here. Stop me. Like the energy I give on YouTube is definitely the energy I give also in real life. So a lot of y'all, um, y'all don't, like, don't know. I be sitting in the car crying. I'm like, she know me. She watch my video. Like every time y'all yeah, literally go in the car and I cry. Because I'm, I'm a tough bitch, but I'm still a Pisces. I'm still emotional. I'm still a sensitive queen. But what she did, that's kind of like real hurtful. Cause it was like, damn. I ain't no fake love was like that for real. I'm about to show you guys. I'm gonna let you guys hear the screen recording. People are fucking weird as fuck. Why the fuck are y'all sending my fucking close friends and shit to the black rat and to Serena telling them what the fuck I'm talking about? Like y'all mad fucking weird. After y'all see this, everybody that I'm not cool with, I So that is it for my makeup. And that's it for the story time. So this is basically the story time. How this client came in my shop and just started exposing me for my roaches in my shop that I don't got. What? Y'all. Hey girl, your apartment has roaches. Don't ever play with me. And I wanna say the rest, but you know, I'ma keep that confidential. A lot of the shit I'ma keep confidential. But just know, if you're a not, if you don't really like support me for real, I don't wanna know the negativity you have to say about me. Cause like, what is it gonna do for me or you? Like, it doesn't make me sad, but it just makes me look at you real different. Like, girl, a lot of these bitches out here are really miserable. They don't really like what they do. They don't like themselves. And I wanna thank y'all enough. I wanna thank y'all more again um, for letting me know, like, girl, that other girl that was talking shit about me in my DMs, she's just a hater. But I knew that, but it's like, I'm glad y'all see that too. Like y'all, I'm glad we both in tune. But I wanna close off this video right here. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to Reject Destiny here on YouTube. And don't forget to leave a like and a, you know, what else, leave a like. And probably share with somebody. You know, you can do that too, boo. And don't forget to follow me on my social media. And if you are in the Atlanta area, come book with your girl at Brett Wings and go shop. It's only skin, lippies, and what else? What else? What else? What else? Follow me on Instagram. I'm trying to get that motherfucker popping. So yeah, and we're on the road to 300K. Let's get this by this year. No kizzy, no cow. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.